How far will one large capacity e-bike battery get you on full turbo mode? Let's find out. So this is the battery we'll be using. This is Giant's 800 watt hour battery. It comes standard on some of the higher spec models now that they have, uh, but you can also buy it as an aftermarket part or an upgrade for your bike, which is exactly what I did. And uh, it's going into my Rain E plus two, which is the bike we'll be using for the test. Here it is, fairly manky as you can see. Look, it's well used, so I make no excuses. So we have some upgrades, um, have the Fortis, Hope Fortis wheels with the Pro 5 hubs. The forks, I've upgraded the internals to the uh, new Ultimut with the buttercups. Carbon bars, code RSC brakes, um, upgraded from the R's. Super Deluxe Ultimate rear shock. Um, in the air version, I had the coil on for a while there, but it's been serious at the moment, so we're onto the air for now. And then tire-wise, I'm using the Mazza E, um, or e Mazza, should I say, in a 27.526 on the rear. It has the uh, battery saving compound. Can't quite see that there because of the mud. And we're using the Minion DHF 3C Max Grip in a double down case on the foot. So there you have it. All weighs in at 26.26 kilo, I think. Fairly hefty, but there you go. It is an e-bike after all. All right, so here we are, we're at uh, Ballinastow Bike Park, and um, we're gonna hit, uh, there's a 14K loop, single track climbs, uh, there's some red descents, some black descents, um, but I'll vary her up. I won't do the same loop, I'll go around, um, obviously the same climbs going up, but then different descents on the way down, so we'll, we'll vary her up a little bit from, uh, from reds to blacks, and uh, we'll see how we go. Now we have the Garmin on, and let's see. We'll power it up there. Now battery is at 100% as you can probably see with my head in the way. Battery is at 100% let's flick through. Quick scan. It gives us a distance here somewhere I think. Oh, it says battery is at 97% there, there so range at the moment. If I flick it up to booster mode. There we go. It says we have a total range of 96 kilometers. You can see that. I don't think so. <laughs> that might be all right on a uh, flat road and all the rest, but uh, yeah, for us, no. So here we go. Full loops of balance though. 800 watt hour battery versus turbo mode. Non-stop. Let's see how far we can go. But the battery failed before me. <laughs> That's a big question. So we're at just short 10k down to 79% battery. Uh, what have we done? 350 meters climb. Not so bad. Keep pushing on. So here we go. Hmm. Not good. I think the wheel's loose. That wasn't good. Or might not have been. <laughs>
one lap done. Same stupid percent battery left. 13 and 14 kilometers. So judging by that, we should possibly squeeze out four runs. We'll see. But we'll give it a go. Just keep trucking. Here we go, top. Here now, we've done pig dog. Uh, we're gonna do glitch next, then we're gonna hit feet. We broke something. Maybe we didn't. <laughs> that was a case and a half. All right, so we're on the climb again and we just dropped another bar. So we're at 17.5k, we're down to 59% battery. Done. I can't see what we're realizing. 520 meters of descending. Oh, Let's see, it's not looking good for four laps. We're actually taking a different route now, up to the next single track. Uh, no point in going around the other one. We'll be going up there again later on, so we're going to get this one first, and then we'll leave very good across. See you in a bit. I tell you one thing now: anybody that tells me again that e-biking is easy, <sighs> yeah, right. 3k at the moment, full turbo mode. Without stopping, heading as best I can, hitting the sensors as fast as I can. Tell you, you know about it. And it's still plenty to go, so we still got three bars. Fantastic. So, still at three bars and at 54%. And we're heading back up again to one of the other big single tracks now. All fun. And uh, it was down into Easy Rider on steps or something. Um, steps are different. So, that will be all this top section done. And then we'll head across to the other side over there if we have enough battery. We're currently 41%, so... Oh, it's close. Can we do it? It's close. which is going to be a shame because uh, it would have been nice but there you go it's gone pretty windy too as you can probably hear on the mic uh, that's had a big impact on the climbs it's into your face all the time so it's going to drain the battery quite a bit but, uh, we'll muck on So we're back to the bottom. We are at 9% battery. We're going to eke our way back up. See if we can get the last one done. It would be such a disappointment if we couldn't, but it's not looking likely. But we'll try. We'll try. Direct line this time, straight up. 
There you go. She's hitting the flash. Which means we're in emergency mode. I have a short climb to the next little bit of single track. What if the emergency mode will get me there? We're on 9% battery. No one else. That's not even telling me I'm on 9%. That's actually something else. <laughs> That's how this bike was. Oh god. That's terrible. Right, we'll keep we'll try, we'll try. Can't see it happening, but we'll try. There you go. Completely gone. Flat as a pancake. Nothing left. Not even the get me home mode is working now. So yeah, we we drained every last bit out of it. So there you go, you can see. It's on the flash of doom. <laughs> So, the most annoying thing is the last trail is about 100 yards away over there. If I could have got to that, at least I could have free wheeled down with the thing going. But it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. Right, let's get all this data saved and we'll have a look when we get back home. So, here you go. Here's an animation of the trails from today. Really enjoyed today, if I'm being totally honest. Flat out in turbo mode everywhere. It's good fun. I mean, get a chance to do it just do it it's great fun so i hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and uh, i'll leave you with the results see you in the next one bye bye